Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be my last haul video for 2016. Uh, this is the pops that I picked up this last week of the year. Uh, today is uh, December 30th, tomorrow is December 31st. I'm planning on staying home all day, so I'm not going to do any hunting. And um, I have to go back to work on the 1st, so I figured I would go ahead and show you guys the last pops that I picked up for the year. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, stories behind some of these and uh, some really cool things that I came across. So let me go ahead and start off with this one here. And uh, obviously if you guys are pop collectors, if you guys are nerds, if you guys are into um, culture and things like that, you know that uh, Carrie Fisher passed away. Um, she played Princess Leia. So there was a big resurgence as far as like people running around trying to find the pops or anything that had her face on it because obviously, you know, it's it probably gonna go up in value. So I owned um, the uh, General Leia from The Force Awakens. Um, you know, I always thought the other ones, you know, they'll always be around their comments and things like that. So I, I always wanted to kind of pick up some of those, but it was kind of in the back of my mind until something like this happened. And unfortunately, you know, um, I wasn't able to find the ones that I wanted, but I did find one that I have always had my eye on. And um, I figured now is just as good a time as any. So this is number 50, and this is Princess Leia in the Boosh outfit, or Bausch. I'm not exactly sure how that's said, but uh, there it is. That's uh, where she dressed up as the bounty hunter to go to rescue Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt's palace. So um, this is a, a cool one. Again, it's not, you know, you can't see her face or anything like that, you know, obviously because she has the mask. I know they do an unmasked version. But um, this is the one that I was able to find, so I went ahead and picked her up. The box is in perfect condition. So that is my little homage to Carrie Fisher. Again, uh, I was sad to hear the news. And again, um, the next day, her, her mother passed away as well. So, you know, we all know how that goes. So uh, I picked that one up. And then the following day, my local comic book store, Corka, which I've featured in a lot of my videos, contacted me and said hey we have this particular pop in stock would you be interested in coming in and, and picking it up so i went ahead and went in there i really wasn't um i didn't think that i was going to pick them up and then i saw it and i once i had it in hand i you know i wanted to go ahead and pick it up so this is number 160 in the star wars line this is a um, specialty series line so this is max revo and i don't know if you guys can make it out but this pop is huge he takes up almost all the box uh, it, and he's really really heavy also so it's a really really cool character I think he looks really awesome they did a great job with the paint um, you know the, the little suction cups at the end of his fingers and, and on his toes and you know his little kind of diaper looking thing that he's wearing but he looks really really awesome so um, you know when I saw him I decided to go ahead and, uh, and just pick him up because he again he is part of the specialty series line and uh, he looks really, really cool. So I picked him up as well, added him to the collection. Uh, so from there, um, I actually visited my local Hot Topic and they were still running a uh, special, which was three to, um, three pops for $30. So basically $10 a piece. So I saw a couple of pops that had um, come out that I wanted to see. Um, I was interested in picking them up, but I wanted to see them first and they did a really awesome job. Uh, before I show you those those two, I'll show you the third one that I picked up to um, you know take advantage of that three for thirty deal, and that is number one eighty five in the X Men line. This is Logan, so this guy looks really really cool. I think they did a really awesome job at making him look like Wolverine, and especially making him look like Hugh Jackman. Also, uh, I think he he definitely does with the little gray on the side of the hair there. Um, he's got the claws out, you know, his iconic leather jacket. He looks really, really cool. So, um, you know, I was uh, glad that I was able to use him uh, as the third pop in the 3 for 30 deal at Hot Topic. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the other two. Uh, the first one is number 51. This is in the Pop Rocks line, and this is from the band Guns N' Roses. This is Slash. So I grew up in the 80s. Uh, Guns N' Roses is actually a band that I used to listen to a lot. So obviously um, this pops coming out, you know, they definitely hit close to home. So I definitely had to pick them up. So I picked him up and they did a really awesome job from the, uh, you know, the cigarette in his mouth to the hair coming over his eyes, you know, with the glasses and the top hat, even to the little rips on his jeans. I don't know if you guys can make them out on his knees. 
they look really, really cool. So, um, you know, I can probably, you guys can probably tell where this is going because it is three of them. Um, I decided to go ahead and pick up number 50. Also in the Pop Rocks uh, Guns N' Roses line, this is Axl Rose. So I had to pick up Axl Rose, obviously being the front man of the band. Um, as you guys can tell, I didn't pick up Duff McKagan. Uh, you know, I I was kind of on the fence on him. You know, the other two were pretty much the, the more known guys in the band. And I'm sorry if, if you guys are Guns N' Roses fans, but that's just the way that I felt. I might end up picking him up later. Uh, maybe if I do one of those deals again with 3 for 30 or something like that, I'll add him as part of that. But I wanted to pick up Axl Rose and Slash for sure. And uh, they did a really, really awesome job with Axl Rose too. They even added you know, the, the, his um, glasses on top of, the, of his bandana. And they even added the little tattoo on his arm there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it looks really, really cool. They, they paid, paid a lot of attention to the details. He's got like the kilt on and you know, the jersey and stuff like that. Really, really cool. So I was glad to add him to the collection as well. Um, so uh, today I was actually out and about. Today is Friday. I was um, uh, you know, just kind of running errands and whatnot. And uh, I noticed that my local Hot Topic, the same one that I picked up those three at, uh, they posted a picture on their Instagram. They're pretty good about posting pictures on Instagram. And it was, they had received a couple items. They were pretty exclusive and they were first come first serve. So they, anybody that wanted them had to get down there and do it and pick it up. So I rushed over there and I was able to pick it up, but they were also running another special where it's buy one item, get the second one at 30% off. So I came across this guy. I'll show you the guy, the one that I picked up for 30% off first. Um, I had seen this guy when he first came out and I wanted to pick him up. But again, it's one of those where I, it's a common, I'll pick him up later and stuff like that. But they had this guy for $7, so I couldn't pass it up because again, it was 30% off of that because I picked up the other guy, which is a little bit more expensive. And this is uh, number 372 in the Pops television line. So this is from the A-Team, this is B.A. Baracus. And obviously you cannot go wrong with Mr. T. Again, one of those Pops that takes me back to my childhood. I remember watching the A-Team, and here's uh, all four of the Pops there. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna end up picking up any of the other ones. The only one I really wanted was B.A. And they did a really awesome job with all the gold, around his neck and his, um, you know, on his hands, you know, he's got the brass knuckles and stuff like that. He's got his vest on, um, his mohawk is really, really awesome. So, you know, when I saw him, I knew I wanted to pick him up and, you know, at $7 minus 30%, you know, obviously I couldn't pass him up. So now last but not least, uh, this is um, probably, um, you know, one of the, the, the coolest pops that I picked up, but again, it's not a pop. Um, this is actually a Dorbs. And part of the reason for it is because this is actually my first Chase. Uh, I wish it would have been a pop, but um, it's a Dorbs. And this is the one that they posted on Instagram, the Hot Topic posted on Instagram saying that they had gotten four of them. When I got to the store, there was only two left and there was a guy right behind me that picked up the last one. And this is uh, number 248 in the Superheroes line. This is the Flash Chase Limited Edition. Uh, that's obviously the White Lantern Flash there. So really, really excited to have my first chase. Um, I don't know if I would say that I found them in the wild just because obviously the picture was posted and they said come and get them first come first serve. But, you know, nonetheless, it's my first chase. Again, I wish it would have been a pop, but, you know, it's it's a Dorbs. I don't actively collect Dorbs. I keep on saying that every time I pick one up. This is actually my third dorb, So um, I'm not going to be collecting Dorbs. I just, uh, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, it was, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I was in the area, they posted the picture, it took me 10 minutes to get there. They had already sold two, so I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and do it. And because I purchased him, I was actually able to get BA uh, Baracas for 30% off. So uh, I think the, um, the two of them came out to like 20 bucks or something like that. So um, it's not that bad. Uh, actually, no, not even. It was actually less than that. It was about $16 the two of them came out to. So really, really awesome. I think it looks really cool. Again, for a Dorb. Uh, you know, no offense to you guys that do collect the Dorbs, but I don't. But he looks really cool. And again, it's my first chase. So there it is. That is my haul for this week being the last week of the year. Um, I've been collecting, uh, I do my math correctly, maybe a little over four months. And I've, as you guys can see behind me, 
I uh, got a little overboard, but it is so much fun. And I think for the most part, finishing off the year, picking these guys up was really awesome. And I'm really geared for the new year to start. I'm going to continue to collect, continue to hunt, continue to post videos and stuff like that. Definitely let me know if you guys are interested in, um, you know, something specific for the videos as far as the hunt videos, the haul videos and stuff like that. If you want to see more of the hunt ones, less of the hauls, or if you guys are fine with that, use that um, comment section below because a lot of YouTubers use that to, um, you know, to kind of mold their videos and stuff like that. I, I definitely do. I try and answer as many questions as I can and stuff like that. So there it is. Um, that is my haul for this last week of the year. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.